All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of LSPDF4. We're back in San Insurance with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we're going to be using this FPIS by Avions Gaming. You can find it on the LSPDF4 website. Uh, uniform, also, you can find on the LSPDF4 website. It's the Blaine County Uniform. All right, let's get this patrol started. See what we can get into. Let's go, partner. LPR on. Let's let dispatch know that we're available for call. Dispatch, show me 10 8 on patrol. Copy. Four, she's gonna do that. So ten let's four, copy this. that. Ten, eight. All right. Uh, actually, let's bust a U-turn here. We're gonna go to the stop sign over here where a lot of people are not gonna run it. See how many tickets we can give out over there. We cut through right here. That's where we're gonna sit up at. No insurance on this vehicle. All right, so we got a first traffic stop, guys. This vehicle don't have any insurance on it. So we're gonna stop him and see what's going on. Turn off the LPR. I like this vehicle with the all blue lighting on it. All right, let's see a dispatch with Melissa. Dispatch request a plate check. Ten four. Nope. Like always, she is not. So. Target vehicle license so plate. So expired registration and no insurance. Six eight okay. one, a traffic violation. Approach with caution. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good afternoon, Deputy Boy with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. You know why I pulled you over? I see. You know I put it. Is it my license tax? Yes. So you have expired registration. So he already knew why I pulled him over. I don't know why. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, so your registration is expired. That's one. Let me see if I can find my new one. Okay, and then also, how come you don't have insurance on this vehicle? Shit, you're going to bust my balls over this fucking bullshit. No? Uh, let me see any documents that you have. Can I see some identification, please? Okay, so no insurance. Thanks. Um, let's see what we're going to do here. Let's just run this information and see what we got. John Stewart, he's not even a uh, vehicle owner, so technically, the only thing I could do, uh, I can give him a ticket. He does have a gun permit, which is fine out here in this state. Uh, he's the owner is on parole. Yeah, so he is expired. Yeah, so we're gonna take the vehicle. Uh, we'll call a guy a, a cab or whatever he needs to get home because um, he's not. He's going to be in charge. He's, right now, we're going to give him the citation for the expired registration and stuff. He'll just have to uh, talk that over with the, with the um, vehicle owner whenever he gets a chance to. So let's uh, go ahead and hand them these citations and then uh, we'll have to step out the vehicle and tow the vehicle. There you go. Mr. Stewart, you're going to be receiving two citations, one for no, for no insurance and the other one is for the expired registration. Can you do me a favor and step out the vehicle? Alright, we're going to tow the vehicle. Is there anything in here that I should know about? I'm gonna do a quick pat down for you. Um, I'm gonna sit you in the back of my unit, I'm gonna search it, and then uh, wait for the taxi cab to come for you guys. Or Uber, whichever one you want. A pipe with tan residue and a. Okay, so go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. So we found a pipe with tan powder residue and a small revolver. We're gonna run both of them to see what the substance is and also if that. He does have a permit. If the revolver come back to him, then it's fine. 
If not, then you know he'll be charged with it. Send him in the back of our vehicle. We're gonna search this vehicle and then uh, continue from there. Vehicle. Till we get bottle of hand sanitizer, chase off. Okay, so let's go. Um, call the flatbed for this truck. Flatbed assistance required in Sandy Shores. So nothing came back inside the vehicle search. So let's uh, see what that powder residue is. Start off with cocaine. Uh, probably it's gonna be heroin. Since it is 10. So it's probably for heroin. So he's going to be charged with possession of heroin and drug paraphernalia so far. And let's check the weapon. Make sure that it's not stolen or anything like that. Here number Frank 275203 Victor. Josh Stewart. I do believe that's him. So it's not stolen. So he's just going to be charged with the... Um, Get in here, partner. He's just gonna be charged with the uh, possession of the drug, so we're gonna uh, create a rest report, possession of the heroin, and also of uh, drug paraphernalia. Then we'll transport him to the station ourselves. Since it is right up the street, and with the new update, you can walk the suspect inside, which is pretty cool. You don't have to pull up to the marker anymore. Alright, so we're in route to the jail, which is over there. What do we, yeah, that's what it's like. Alright, so we made our first arrest today, guys. First shot for top for no insurance, and we got something a little bigger drugs. Go around this guy. So we'll, we'll walk them in ourselves. I'll show you guys the new, uh, oh, my bad partner. Oh. All right. All right, Mr. Stewart. Kind of look like Franklin. Like the older version of Franklin. Close the door here. All right, so we're gonna walk him into the cell. Just walk him inside the cell, leave him in there, and uh, we can take off. All right, I'm gonna take these handcuffs off of you. You have a court date in the morning to see the judge. Most likely he'll release you on bond. So oh, he can get released on bond. It's not a big case against him right now. It's just the drug paraphernalia and the drugs. Um, he was licensed to carry the firearm, so that's fine. Even though probably in real life they probably would have, it probably would have been an additional charge for having the firearm and the drugs together. But you know, at this point, we're not gonna do all that. Turn the LPR on. Um, dispatch does know that we're available for calls in case they want to give us a call out. But let's uh, get back to this spot here. Oh, and this guy just ran the stop sign already. So we're probably going to be doing a lot of traffic control out here. Second traffic stop of the day already. Dispatch request a play check. There we go. Sound of four eight. David. Target vehicle license plate. Four eight. David Edward William three five three. No registration. No insurance. Violation. Unknown owner. Approach okay. with caution. Basically, there's no no information coming back to the vehicle.
Western driver. And good afternoon, Deputy Boyd at the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Oh, great. I'm going to be on Live PD. <laughs> that is a, that's a good show right there, guys. Live PD. Um, is there any reason why... Definitely registration on this vehicle. Damn it. This is such bullshit. Why there's no insurance? You're going to bust my balls over this bullshit. Um, well, we're going to see right now. Let me see can any see information that you can provide. Please? So all he got was a driver's license Thanks. from him. Brian Pickle. Okay. Mr. Pickle. Let's see what's going on with you right now. So your license is good. Uh, he does have a citation for temporary detention order. Don't... So there's no information coming back to this vehicle at all. So it's going to be told... Uh, let me make sure, is he the, um, the actual register owner of the vehicle? Well, we don't know because it's unknown, so he's going to be receiving multiple citations today for no insurance, um, failure to present insurance, failure to present no registration, and that's it because everything else come back, his license is good. We don't know who the owner of the vehicle is. But the vehicle is not showing stolen either, so. Alright, here you go, Mr. Pickles. You're going to be receiving two citations for no registration, no insurance on the vehicle. And we're going to be taking the vehicle today, so can you go ahead and step out for me? Alright, do you have anything on you that you shouldn't have or in the vehicle that I should know about? Shouldn't be doing this in the middle of the street, but... We'll do it real quick and then get him off the street. Alright, well, you got pepper spray. He allows her to have that. Alright, follow me over here. About right here. Fine. Alright, uh, if I follow him. Alright, go ahead and have a seat on the ground for me while I search the vehicle. Partner gonna watch him while I search the vehicle real quick. Uh, baggie of unmarked capsules. Okay. And the kitchen knife. Oh, the knife is fine. Uh, we're gonna check these capsules to see what they are. Oh, that's a drug bust episode today, huh? This is Exidy, Exis, uh, Exidy, Exidy, MDMA, nope, negative, got no tongue twisted there, Exidy, no LSD, check if it's fentanyl, positive for fentanyl, so he's possession of fentanyl, one of the most dangerous drugs you could, alright, so he's gonna be placed on the rest for that, alright, All right, turn around, put your hand by your back for me, Mr. Pickle. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of fentanyl. All right. So we'll charge him with fentanyl, get him to the station, and uh, get back out here on patrol. All right. My bad, partner. Dispatch requested tow truck. 10 4. Yeah, of course. 4 Assistance required in Sandy Shores. While we wait for the tow truck to come, let's get his charges going, which is uh, possession of the fentanyl. Possession of fentanyl. Oh. People don't know how to drive now. It's AI. This is a nice vehicle pack. We're going to um, be doing the next few episodes using this pack. 
so we can pretty much use all the vehicles that he has in here. Alright. So, so let's drop Mr. Pickle off right here at the sheriff station. Uh, this time we're just going to hand him over to another cop and then that way we can get back out here. Let a detention officer come out and get him. Thank you. Alright. Um, let's see if uh, we can get a call out. Just let to know that we're available. Ten four, copy that. Ten eight. Well, let's see if we can get another call out. Sorry about that. Why not? Until uh, then, let's uh, post back up right here. See if we got anybody running the stop signs. Oh, you didn't. So that's a possible stolen vehicle right here. Okay. Well, oh. I'm gonna felony stop on this vehicle. Get felony traffic stop. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. Stay open, stay open. I don't know. We copy you. On standby. Wait for our units to come. What the heck was going on there? Roger K. Okay. Copy that dispatch. Animals on the loose. You ready for an ass whooping? You're surrounded. Mm, that's fine enough. We got you surrounded. All right, driver, step out the vehicle with your hands up. It's not letting us because of the last backup. All right, let's see here. Stop right fucking there! Hands up, hands up. Get down on your knees. All right, we're gonna move up, pick their ass. So we could dismiss all them. I don't know what's going on with that other trend. No, oh, what are you doing? Let's get him out the street real quick. Um, heavy, irregular breathing and slurred speech. Okay, so possibly under the influence of alcohol also. Pat him down, make sure you got any weapons on him or anything like that. Baggie of heroin, a pipe of tan powder residue, and a small baggie of cocaine. Okay, so we got this is a drug episode today, guys. Could probably be the name of this episode, drug bus. Now we'll check the um, the pan, the tan powder residue. Probably gonna come back with more heroin. Police nice sick, but I do believe this vehicle was reported stolen. Target vehicle license plate. Yep. Eight three George William Charles two niners oh, we'll call the vehicle insurance and people. Sandy vehicle. Shores. Approach with caution. So we'll call the vehicle insurance people so that they way they can give the owner back the vehicle. We recovered it. Um, no nothing illegal was found inside. So uh, before we charge them, one thing I forgot. Check that 
ten powder residue in that pipe. Which is probably just heroin, so it's gonna go straight to heroin. Yep, so it's heroin. Alright, let's uh talking about the insurance people vehicle is stolen. <laughs> Anyways. It's gonna be possession of heroin, drug paraphernalia, and he had cocaine on him. It should be right here. Boom. All right, partner. Let's get him down to the station. Let's try to uh, at least get one call out. I'm gonna try to get a call out. We'll just force one. Oh, we'll pass him over again. <clears throat> Close the door. Thank you. Let's see, is it the current call out? No. Let's see, United call out. Let's see if they want traffic to back up. We've got a civilian requiring a system. Palomino Freeway. Where is that at? Oh, no, too far. All right, let's see. Um. We have a hold up in Lido Palito Bay. Bay. Nah, too far. I wonder why dispatch is not sending me calls on its own. Let's see. Roger that. Ten seven. Ten four. Let's ten, see if that eight. works. Hey, uh, let's um uh, see what dispatch got for us. Attention, all units. A civilian requiring assistance. No, Attention, this is dispatch. Four. No further city. units required. Where's that city at? Alright, why not? That's not that far. So we have a barricaded suspect in Stab City, so we'll head that way, pull through. And this is probably gonna be the call out that's gonna wrap up the vehicle guys. I mean the video, sorry about that. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy this episode. But for now, let's get there and see what we can get into. We could supervisor playing your tactics. Okay, so I'm guessing he did supervisor right here with the MP5. Alright, let's speak to him. Hello, officer. The suspect was just in an arrest warrant earlier and opened fire on officers that skewed the warrant. The suspect is still in the house, but he locked himself in. We only set up a perimeter and we are waiting for your command. What are my options? You can try to call the suspect and see if he agrees to surrender. Otherwise, we might have to storm the building. All right, let me think about a second. A second. Let me think about it for a second. So we got number one. I want to try to call the suspect. So let's try that. I want to try to call the suspect. 
All right, good luck with that officer. So we're gonna press Y to call the suspect. Who's there? Uh, let's see, number two. I'm a police officer. How can we make this end peacefully? I want all of you to leave. I'm afraid this won't happen. Is there anything else I could do? Give me some options. We'll do number three. I can't promise anything, but if you surrender, I'll make sure to support your case in the, with the DA. Okay, I'm coming out. All right, he's coming out. So. All right, on the ground, man. Alright, we're gonna move into arrest her. Hold it! You're under arrest, fucker! I can get put in the transport out for her. Assistance required in and this is code four. Quickly pat her down for the prison transport come and uh, see what she got. Uh, she don't got nothing. Uh, so we'll just charge her with uh, with uh, the barrication situation, I guess. I don't even know if they have a charge for that, but we'll check it out. To, uh... Oh, and she has a warrant out for arrest for simple assault, so we charge her with a warrant that she has out. Um... Um, assault with a fire. No, simple assault. Simple assault. Oh, simple robbery. And then I have simple assault. Uh, don't look like it. Aggravated assault. No, it's supposed to be simple assault, but. Alright, so they might not even have that as an option. Let's try to county, city, and county um, ones. Might have to update this list and add simple salt to it. Cause they have simple robbery, but then I have simple salt with it. <laughs> Partner, get out the way. I didn't get by. Uh, rest for assault. It's not simple assault, but we're just gonna use assault as simple assault. Well, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. We're going to um. Pull up the court cases, see what we got. Alright, let's uh, go to court cases. I think this is, yeah. So, Mr. Stewart, the guy that was driving the vehicle with no insurance and expired registration for that, the citations, he got $1,019. And for his drug possession and drug paraphernalia possession, he was sit since it's three months in prison with a fine of twelve hundred dollars mr pickles our second suspect that um ran the stop sign and had no insurance and stuff on the vehicle he was found no not guilty for the no insurance but he was fined 251 dollars for the registration he also had drugs on him possession of fentanyl he was granted probation and fined five thousand dollars pete um, possession of the, I forgot to charge him with the stolen vehicle, but that's fine. Um, possession of heroin, drug paraphernalia, and cocaine. He was sentenced to two years in prison and 
fine of $5,228. And our last suspect, which is Sky Richards, the lady with the warrant. Six years in prison and three thousand dollar fine. All right, guys. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.